Hi, welcome back to the next part of our tutorial, Blender to build an e-bike. Um, today we want to make the chain here. And we start. So, at first we need here add mesh circle, rotate x 90 degrees, scale down. Good. And then we go in edit mode, shift D, make a copy of them, place them on the other side. So we have two now. We get another copy, so shift D again and place them there. Now we scale that in the set. So scale set. We want to reach the bending that we see there. That is this one here. Make it a little bit greater in the X, so scale X. And we see where it uh, will hit the other, the reference. There's this point. And when we take them a little away, that is this point. That is the connection point. So. Uh, we delete all what we don't need. So with C circle selection, we can mark or select that what we don't need. That's that here. And sure, in the middle there must be nothing. So we get that away. But before we clear that completely, we take this one with L. You can select one of them. Oh, I see we have cut it here. Okay, so we have that here and shift D, make a copy of them, rotate X 180. So we have here this one and we must count from the middle one, two, three, four. From the middle one, two, three, four. So that is unneed. We delete that. Then we get this whole thing with L, grabbing and bring to position. So now we see we don't need that, 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 and that. So, good. And now we simply merge them together. So that means we take this one and this one and say tools merge at center same we make here on top merge at center the same we make on this side merge at center and down here so now we have the basic form that is what we build it looks a little bit <laughs> more than the other Maybe we scale it in the set a little. It, but I think that is good. I'll make a secure copy, Shift D. Good. And I think really, no, we let it like it is. Good. So, um, we need this thing here and that hole in there. So, we build here add mesh cylinder. 24 is enough. Rotate x 90 degrees, scale down. So, we have that. Sh then, edit mode, shift D, make a copy of them, bring them to the side too. So we got that here that we can take for the cut or to place it in like it is. So scale Y for the first. Okay. Then we see this here. So that are cylinders too. So we add mesh cylinder. 24 is okay. So we scale down. But we see they are not as high, so scale set, 
so we have that then we see that isn't smoothed so we smooth them they we smooth too and we got this shading arrows so what was me do all what is plain should be plain so when we have a plane it must be flat from the shading so by shading we go to flat but this one should be rounded so that is on smooth but if you use smooth you need to get an area barrier where he can um, smooth so we get a loop on the back and on the front so done that that looks better here we have the same problem Put on the front the top and uh, the uh, under part there isn't smoothed so we need a flat this one is smoothed so it needs loops to get the shading arrows in the small part between and then you don't see it that is what why we do that so um then next part that must be rotated rotate x 90 degrees so we come here true so we need here another one shift d that is that and surely they should be in the middle of the object good what happens here i don't know really flat oh okay and here flat okay don't know why he doesn't accept it at first but control p and give them a smooth so yeah okay all is good so we take that here and uh, rotate x 90 degrees then edit mode word selection a to select all extrude and bring it down then f to close mark the top line f to close if you want to bevel that then you can do that on both sides but think about that how many that are when we finish with that and uh, that is hard stuff for computers so um, better let it like this okay we're gonna smooth on it but not on the top page so we're getting flat there and here the down part of flat too the rest can be smoothed but think on the loops so edit mode control r to make a loop one on the top one on the bottom so we got that we also can make here a to select all and recalculate the normals that gives this shading arrows away okay so that is that what we have there we bring that in the middle too so we got that and with alt d we make a copy of them when we change the first one the second one changed with that that is good when you make alt d and not shift d okay so that we scale and set that it is not as much out as it is in the moment so we middle that a little and bring it more scale set yeah that it looks little out but only a little okay good but when i look from top i see there is something wrong so we jump to that i must see that so we get this here and give them another color so we see that better material and get this 
uh, cutting material that wasn't red one top and you see that don't fits really so we select that here without and grab it into position and then we take that here and grab that in position too or move it by the arrows so we have that looks down too is okay good a little bit long I mean I don't trust them really so um, we scale that here in the X I go back first don't you know is that longer in the middle there like the other one out there I don't know it but I think can't be good but ego uh, we need to do this other one so shift D make a copy bring them one up to the other then move that away to this side yes the same we make on the down part uh, shift D make a copy bring them up to uh, down to then bring that to that side and make a copy shift no that that is okay yeah okay that comes then there in you must uh, think on the ray so you must build it so that you can ray that each time you want and that gives mm, the good effect then there good here looks something weird that is not really in the middle huh? that looks better but the rest is okay good uh, so we need this red thing and scale them scale set so again that one scale set okay and we come out that is what we want must be seeable a little good so um, we make a secure copy of them uh, before we do that um, we select them all don't forget the inner and join them together as one well. so shift D we have that as our secure copy so we shift them by the side and that should be our uh, array for the chain and surely we must uh, make them unwrap able so we must mark seams so we get the top one and go here on the shading UVs mark seam the same on this what comes out there mark seam mark seam then on the down part two mark seam and here mark seam i show you that in solid mode so you see better what is red on what not so we got that but the inner part needs that too so we click this on and mark seam so that all must be cut off in all directions so we have to select tier 2 mark seam the down part 2 same as here we don't see it so it's evil but we make it set then you can go through it 
but isn't that that we should mark seam and this other one here the great plane that isn't that is uh, mark seamed so we only need here this whole thing mark seam and the other down part too and the top part here and the downside of them mark seam okay so now they must cut it in the in the high so when we take here edge selection and get here this one mark seam then that one mark seam and that one and we have a cut through that completely and that is what we need the same we make here on this part here so we mark seam here too the same is here and it don't matter really where you cut you can't see that later um, but it must be done uh, then we have give here one and there one and mark seam and then the last one is this here so we give here one there one mark seam good that is now completely on no here is one okay mark seam and we have no cut there okay so we cut it here yeah good now we have all mark seamed and all is cuttable now so we can unwrap that so that means when we go here back to material mode and get in edit mode mark all and then u to unwrap we got here our uv from that in the uv image editor that is that here then you can click here uv image editor and that is our unwrap now and there's a fine unwrap you see directly that's good good we must build materials for that and try the array with that so file save and um, make a secure copy shift d and then we try our first um, array that it works or not and you see that is too far out but we can go here back and then we have that and then we can make here a chain that is long as we want and that we can move on the curve later so that works okay we place that 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 move to layer 2 because we have done that so we don't need that anymore in a moment fire safe then we have such like this ventil that is simply build it so add mesh cylinder 24 a little bit too much normally but uh, better too much as to less in a moment after baking you can make that yellow way I should to get this point out there uh, extrude again to this part and extrude again to this part and extrude for the top then the uh, crater one and then the head and then the top part so now we must scale what we need that is this loop here extrude scale every time when you scale this way it will be get outer higher than the inner so we have to scale set to that it gets here normal okay 
Then we get that one here, make the same, extrude scale, then scale set to bring it on one high. Good, that is this one. This here must be much smaller, so scale down or extrude scale, that's better. Good. And this one must be out, so extrude scale and scale set. Good. We have that. That must be round. So we print that in front and make them smaller. Then we go here and make a loop in. Control R, make a loop in the middle. Sorry. <coughs> I'm ill. So uh, scale that. Then Control B and roll them in the mouse. And then we get a better one. But I think we must make that much greater. So Control B and rotate. Yes, it comes more around. Yes. And then we get this top one down and we have a good result there. So we give a smooth on them all. We have these shading arrows I told you a thousand times before. Uh, we get this top part up here because that comes on the wheel later. So we don't have that here later. Um, then we need to um, uh, scale up here at first, um, but we take that width and that width, that and that, and scale them simply. So we have a little upward turning, uh, so we can scale here too, that it comes straight. Okay, then you see the shading arrows, we know we must make loops on each round section on the top and on the bottom that is how to get this shading arrows here way so we make it in all parts one loop to the top one to the down one to the top and one to the down here too top and down Each ring needs this so that two and that here two. Okay, so now this is a good one. Only that one here that looks not good for me. So I delete that, control plus, X delete words. I better take here a sphere on it, that is natural round, so that isn't that complicated as to make it there. So add uh, UV sphere, 32 is okay, scale down, we have that. Then we delete the middle, the down under. So we get word selection with background selection. Then delete that here. So we have only that left. Oh, sorry. L to select that. And then we have to scale it a little. Okay. Then top view, bring it on the top. Good. A little bit more to the right. And then uh, scale them a little in the set. It turns my language, so I need to do it so good. 
that's good enough for that but we must move that so we get here smooth and all is good good uh, that isn't the best way that I showed you to make that here normally you must connect now each word with the other and so on but I don't do that uh, so you can do that if you want I don't do it and uh, then you have a better result good so uh, we have that here we need this one here need another one here we need um, some um, normals too that all will be made with uh, normals um, so we don't make that unreal because the words will then explode uh, it's too much so we must bake that all we must bake normals for that all there are three normals that we must bake and then we can get that good okay uh, so we stop for today we have uh, built a chain we have built this uh, that is okay so we see us then next time file save now uh, wish you a wonderful day see you in the next part thanks a lot